It was the verge of the fifth age of our pre-ancient world. The first age had been the age of emptiness and confusion, when darkness filled the land. The second age was the age of creation. The land was filled with living creatures, from the ordinary to the fantastic. From boundary to boundary, the world was filled with elves and goblins, dwarfs and monsters. The Third Age witnessed the corruption of the world. The goblins and monsters turned evil over their jealousy for the blessed elves, and the elves themselves turned evil with their destructive pride. The dwarfs and a few poor woodland elves went underground and were never seen again. As the world turned mad, then came the sorcerers of mankind, bringing about the fourth age of the world. It is said that the sorcerers emerged from the waters, from seas, and from lakes, and rivers they entered our world, majestic in form and powerful. Man came, banished from a far distant garden, never seen by mythological beast or creature. The entire world was then decimated. The sorcerers destroyed and remade the landscape and man built upon it. The elves and goblins were no more. The sorcerers then bore children with mankind, ushering into the world the less powerful yet respectable wizards. Once powerful sorcerer Rancordimus despised man and his sorcerer friends and waged war against them. He conquered and made base at the grand city of Mazando. He killed many men wizards, but was defeated by a massive army of men. He left the city and was never found. Hey, that's some tasty looking tea. Can I have some? No, uh, this is the last one. Oh, well, can I have some of that cup? No. Lomondo, sharing his camera. Shut up, though, this. <coughs> that's not funny! <laughs> It is I, Lord Rand Cordifus, that destroys your worlds and names the ones you love. But if the men really thought you could defeat me, of course you all were wrong. There are a few of you left. Mazondo is once again my city. And Joseph Lord of Mazondo, I relieve you of your duty and your son, or I will destroy you. Rand Cordifus, how could it be? We must go to the Citadel. Are you crazy? Mankind hates us. We're not even allowed in the city. You are wrong, my friend. Mankind does not hate us. You're off your rocker. What's gotten into you? You know, I search the hills daily for wild fungus for our potions. And? I also visit the city on those trips, the woman specifically. Ah, uh, you saying you got a girlfriend? Yes, it is Rose, the servant of Lord Joseph. Be at peace, Lord Mazondo. Mazondo! I do not wish to level the city completely to the ground. The rest of you shall surrender and be spared, merely banished from my rightful city. Come forth in peace, or hide till death. It is your choice. My army is assembled. I love you, Rose, but I must fight. Hurry, run away, Rose, to my home. Get food and leave this place. Head for Mount Dort Ward. I'll meet you in the town of Bronsville. I love you. I love you. But what about you? Don't worry, you'll be okay. <laughs> that means I have to stay and fight too. They say the age in the West is doomed, that freedom is not worth the price in blood anymore, and that Rancornimus' armies of the East shall conquer all. How can there be victory? I'm not a smart or wise wizard. I use my feelings more often than I should. But I do not believe evil can triumph, not when there's people like us willing to defend. A large army of those who were more monster than man assembled outside the city bearing spears and shields, ready to conquer Mazondo and assault mankind. The magical powers of Wilmondo and Philemus turned the tides of the battle. The opposing army of half-men were defeated. Great battle, Wilmondo! Yeah, Philemus it was. Ah! Oh no! Demons are impervious to magic!
Back to your pit, troll! I'm your doom! Leave! Filament! I feel cold. You're not gonna die. It's, it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be alright. No, it's not. Not right now. But it will be once you're done. Don't give up. I believe you now. No! <laughs> <laughs> you have decimated my troops in grand fashion. I greatly underestimated you. Meet me tomorrow at Lusando's Creek to discuss negotiations. Wilmondo then set forth for the creek to face the most powerful sorcerer the world had ever seen. Wilmondo, it's pleasant to see you. Did you know this is where I originated the snow It would be pleasant to see you die. Enough with your trickery. You realize I am the only remaining sorcerer, and you be the only remaining wizard left in the world. Wouldn't it be a shame if you were to die? Join me. It'd truly be a shame upon all that is good. Join me. Never! Do an epic one. Are you serious? <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, oh, funny. John, we saw the film. Get out. Just kidding.